According to YouTuber Zero One Supernatural Studio, a gambler lived in this place. He lost all the land in a bet and then chose to take his own life. Let's see if his presence remains. The ghost hunter quickly gets a reading. Inside his meter spikes. The spike occurs right next to a mirror. Could this be a portal into another world? As he continues his search, he hears a voice. Here it is again with the infrared on. He asks the spirit to touch a paranormal device. It seems to me that the spirit is here, but what the spirit's intentions are remains a mystery. This video was recently taken in Malaysia on a cell phone. Whereas UFO footage is blurry and far away, there's no mistaking what this object is supposed to be in this video. The UFO passes over a house and then takes off in the distance. A short while later, this other footage was taken. The UFO turns sideways and appears to be observing them through a bright white light in the center. It regards them for a moment longer and then the video ends. Overall, it's hard to say if this is a fake video or genuine UFO activity. Most of the comments in the video tend to favor that this really happened. A YouTuber named Fazi Ki Danaya of Pakistan has caught some creepy things on tape while exploring a haunted building that used to be a school. <laughs> It doesn't take very long for the scary stuff to begin. His ghost meter detects a presence in this room. Shortly before the paranormal activity ramps up a lot and a window slams shut on its own. A final loud crash sends him running out of the building to see what's making all of the noise. All he finds is a stray cat outside, which he suspects is a shape-shifting djinn because no cat would walk towards all that commotion. I'm not so sure about all that, but I do think it's strange how this classroom is the only place where weird haunted things get caught on camera. Exploring the rest of the haunted school reveals no other paranormal activity, just whatever's by this window. Ron Stevens is ghost hunting in the haunted attic of the Tilly Pierce House, one of the most haunted places in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is where a woman named Tilly Pierce fearlessly tended to those in need during one of the most vicious conflicts of American history. The 15-year-old medic had so many units to watch over that not everyone pulled through, and so ghost sightings in this haunted 
haunted house are not uncommon. It isn't long before a ghost apparently begins exploring the paranormal equipment they've set up on the ground for it to communicate with, including Bob the motion sensor activated dog, whose nose lights up when anything passes by. That's pretty bright. Yeah, it is. Is someone petting Bob? Can you step away from Bob real quick? They ask the ghost to step away and it immediately stops, which indicates some kind of intelligent presence is with them in the haunted attic. Now touch Bob. Thank you. And soon the ghost is playing with other motion detecting equipment too. There it is again. Oh, thank wow, you. The more paranormal equipment they put on the ground, the more the ghost seems to want to interact. Any Pierces here or anybody that knew the Pierces? <laughs> One of the paranormal investigators begins listing names that she's researched, and orbs begin to fall as she does so. Did you play with Molly or Margaret? Or Tilly? Followed by a scary scratchy voice that repeats, I did, in a demonic tone. And as they are all adjusting their paranormal equipment, one of the creepy dolls moves by itself, and by that I mean falls over, considering they brought this doll out there specifically for the paranormal to attach themselves to. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the moment a doll possession was caught on tape. Yeah. Here, I wanted to show you these. Why isn't someone turning up the Oh. Legend has it this former asylum is haunted, and this video appears to be proof of it. Posted by Zombie Platypus to the Ghost subreddit, the redditor says this was filmed in what used to be the living quarters at a mental institution called CSUCI. The quarters are now a modern dorm room. The clip shows a plate of shrimp moving across the counter on its own for more than half a minute. Its movement is jarring, as if it's being nudged around the counter every so often. Zombie Platypus explains that they started filming when one of them saw a quick but long movement that made them scream. She says no magnets or strings were used, and the dishwasher wasn't on. Most commenters agree with Redditor, Difit H, who suggests this may not be paranormal activity at all. He writes, If the bottom of the plate has a lip and it is wet causing a nice seal and you put hot food on the plate and if the counter is ever so slanted, it can cause the plate to move, the steam causing a hovercraft-like effect. However, the Redditor says that when they tried to recreate the situation under the exact same conditions, they never could get it to move like that. A few Redditors in the comments don't have an answer answer for the Redditor, but having visited the campus, acknowledged that the place made them uncomfortable and gave them the heebie-jeebies. Is it just the creepy history of the former institute that pushes us towards a paranormal explanation, or are former patients just hungry? <laughs> Yeah, basically. Ahmed knows of someone in need of his help. She's apparently been taken over by something paranormal, and he hopes to break it by reciting the right words over her bedridden figure. The orb activity picks up whenever he speaks. Her gray hands have marks and worn knuckles. Her fingers are constantly flexing. When she reaches for Ahmed at 3 minutes and 54 seconds, her arms are likewise discolored and marred. Something has been hard at work destroying her from the inside out. We don't get to see much of her face, but when we do get a glimpse, it looks scary and possessed. A twisted sneer across cracked gray skin at 9 minutes and 4 seconds. By the end of the session, she says something that makes him stop recording with a small sigh. 
tell me what she says here to seemingly break his spirit. The possibility of this being real depends on if you believe in spirits taking someone over. Caught on tape is a scary woman, no doubt about that, but she could also be suffering from some kind of illness that causes delusions and skin conditions. This could also be makeup and some very good acting. The orbs could be from a dusty room, but the way they move over her makes me wonder if this is a real paranormal video caught on tape. While exploring Liverpool's most haunted hotel, the adult Selfie. Jess and Ellie get the feeling they're not alone. Many have seen and heard strange things inside the haunted hotel, which was built in 1826 before being replaced in 1911. Wealthy passengers would stay here before embarking on their cruise liner journey to North America. Many famous people from Sinatra to Bob Dylan to Roosevelt and Churchill have also been guests. But it's the past on that call this place home. Published in January of 2022, Jess and Ellie wander through the historic hotel with its ballroom and haunted hallways. They check themselves into the purportedly haunted room 179. When they break out the spirit box, they realize the ghosts here are quite aggressive. <laughs> Then they ask if the spirit wants them to leave or stay, and they're given a clear answer. Do you want us to stay? Jess is the same voice. It is. I'm getting. The ladies did end up leaving that night. I'd be too freaked out to stay in the Adelphi a minute longer either. Visit Louisiana and you might just run into a gator or two, or maybe a thousand. Published in January of 2011, Marvin Carter writes, This is something you just don't see every day. Carter says this video was sent to him from the mouth of the Mississippi by one of his friends. What you're about to see will make your skin crawl. At first, the river looks normal with dozens of rocks jutting out of it, but when the camera zooms in, you realize those aren't rocks. Then even more horrifyingly, this little speedboat starts its journey through the sea of alligators. They're all moving about, but the good news is, it looks like they're just trying to get out of the way, not start trouble. While many in the comments agree that this is terrifying, most also suggest that gators generally don't mess with you. Still, this scary video desperately needs an explanation, and commenter canoeing the edge of the world seems to have one. He writes, For some reason, alligators just decide every once in a while to have a little get-together and they bring the whole family. I think I'll skip this reunion. The grounds where a double life taking has occurred is no place to be at night. The guys in this video learn that the hard way. Published to YouTube by the Valspire family in October of 2017, this ghost investigation has all the right ingredients for fear. A storm, an abandoned house at night in the middle of the woods, and a Ouija board. The host, Aiden, says the house has a super creepy backstory and is said to be haunted. The story goes that two male lovers built a mansion up in the woods. As such things weren't accepted at the time, the men had their lives taken in this home. The suspects received life sentences in 1982. But the fact that the police investigation turned up occult tools and books, along with the macabre decor of the home, turned the event into a media circus. The men were labeled devil worshippers. And now, back to this video. The ghost investigators leave their house at midnight in a storm, planning to arrive at Corpsewood Manor at 3 a.m. They drive into the woods and then set out on foot on the path, not sure where they are, ready to get lost. They arrive at a fork in the road and finally find their way to the abandoned manor. Aiden hears a grumbling, which he admits may be thunder. <gasps> I heard like a grumbling, but that might have been thunder. 
He says that his camera, with its full battery, keeps shutting off every time they attempt to start with the Ouija board. At 3 in the morning, they begin asking the Ouija board if anyone had their life taken there. Nothing happens, but they do hear something in the vicinity. Aiden says that he wants to go check it out and thinks it sounded like someone walking. I heard someone over there. Go ahead. Jared is freaked out, hearing another sound in the trees. He thinks it was probably the wind. Dude, I heard something. No, you did not. They decide to leave because Jared can't take it anymore. Can you blame him? Aiden recalls that when he sat at the Ouija board and opened up the portal to the spirit world, he forgot to say goodbye, and he claims that ever since then, weird stuff has been happening. All I know is that place seriously seemed haunted. A YouTuber named Spunk Flunk recorded this video with the innocent intention of asking people to follow him on Google+. Little did he realize the paranormal moment that he accidentally caught while filming the video. If you look at the doll on the bed at the 29 second mark, you will clearly see that the doll moves its hand to the side and then back down. Um, click add to circles and then just click following. That'd be awesome. It'll only take like a few seconds and that'll get me to 1,000 followers. The fact that it moves its hand back down makes me think this video was not done by a string. In addition, most of his recent videos have nothing to do with the paranormal. What do you think caused this bizarre moment? Someone is watching you. Published to YouTube by Finders Beepers History Seekers in August of 2020. The channel writes, Matt and Andy are reunited in this week's Creepy Explorer in an abandoned care home that was shut down for reports of terrible living conditions. Although it was shut down, maybe something paranormal stuck around. About 20 minutes into the edited video, the pair are headed up the stairs when they see this. Panning up to the second level, a figure moves across the upper hallway in the darkness. Unbeknownst to Mike and Andy, the shadowy menace was clearly watching them. The pair calls out to the person, but no answer. They consider backing down, but they think there's someone on the bottom floor as well. They decide to take their chances upward, but when they head up there, they find there's no one on the landing. And in fact, that landing where the figure crossed over doesn't even lead to another room. There's no way out. Some in the comments think the figure was the spirit of a former patient or staffer. Open Paranormal writes, I think you just caught some of the best paranormal activity I've ever seen. There's clearly no one around, but you could clearly see a shadow of someone up there. We'd have to agree, this one seems genuine. Was this Chilean quake natural or extraterrestrial made? Published by Paranormal Planet in April of 2014, seconds before a tremor hit a coastal region of Chile, something was spotted in the sky. The short clip captures the Chilean coast. All is calm. As the cameraman scans the landscape, an unidentified aircraft shoots across the sky. A half-speed clip shows the object in more detail. It's tiny and black but has no other discernible features. It's simply moving too fast. After it passes, the earth immediately begins to shake. A girl hanging onto the fence sways back and forth and the cameraman appears to fall to the ground. Many in the comments don't think this was an unidentified flying object, and some don't even think it was a quake. Mary Coday suggests, it was a milli jet and it made a sonic boom or broke a sound barrier. Others think it was a bird. Is this real? Or is it all completely staged? We're left with more questions than answers with this one. When four teens disappeared in August of 2008 in Melbourne, Australia, a local search party discovered this found footage in November of the same year near an abandoned hospital. Shortly after, it apparently began making rounds on Australian news outlets. At the start of the video, the boys appear to be cruising down a highway, then further down a dirt road. At one point, they exit the vehicle, and they think they hear a sound coming from the darkness. In that area, there's like sounds coming. They approach a gate with a sign that says private property, no trespassing. They ignore it. They find a hole in the fence and decide to enter anyway. 
As they're walking along in the dark, they come across a red substance splattered on the ground. Regardless, they continue on, and that's where the footage ends. A walk into the darkness. They were never seen or heard from again. If you have any info on their whereabouts, please visit missingpersons.gov.au. What happens when a flight goes haywire mid-air? Passengers of JetBlue Flight 292 found out firsthand on their flights from California to New York, a flight that ended in flames, smoke, and sparks. After the flight took off from Burbank's Bob Hope Airport, an indicator light came on noting that there was an issue with the landing gear. The front tires of the airplane had swiveled sideways and were frozen there, as the retraction gear hadn't fully retracted. With 146 passengers on board, the airliner swung laps in the California sky for three hours to burn off fuel so that their emergency landing wouldn't be so fiery. They were told to land at LAX, as it was supplied with more emergency equipment and a longer runway on which to land. The pilot would land it using primarily the back wheels of the airliner. All the while, people were watching this scary event live at home on TV. Passengers were watching it on their tiny TV monitors on the back side of each seat. Loads of emergency equipment sat ready on the runway, while more than 100 firefighters awaited the landing. Time stood still, with thousands stopping on highways and watching from nearby buildings. As the jetliner made its final approach, passengers were told to get in the brace position. As they prepared for landing, needless to say, many feared for their lives in this moment, but the pilot managed to land softly on the runway. On the plane's back wheels, it was the smoothest landing I ever had, one passenger said. As its front end touched down, friction sent up plenty of sparks and blaze, but the fire subdued quickly. The passengers, and everyone watching, were relieved that this scary, intense event didn't end up much worse. Applause broke out on board for the pilots and crew. The pilot's cool-headed grid has since been praised the world over, as it should be. Valerie Brown posted her dog Ruthie's ghost sighting to YouTube in 2013. She writes in the video description, She barks incessantly as if someone is in there. Everyone said it's a ghost on Facebook. I'm not into paranormal, but people suggest I post this on YouTube. So here it is. As the video begins, the little dog is barking and growling, its tail wagging as it looks into the living room. No one is there, but the dog seems to be highly alert to some presence in the vicinity. The owner asks her dog who she's barking at, but of course, she discontinues barking. Appearing as though she thinks it's obvious who she's barking at, the owner moves into the living room and the dog follows, running around to the front of the sofa. The dog's eyes are focused in on one spot, suggesting the invisible entity must be staying in place. In fact, when the dog moves to the front of the sofa, it seems to be barking at someone who's sitting on the sofa only there appears to be exactly zero people lounging there. The dog runs back to the opposite side of the sofa, and as the owner ends the video by telling Ruthie, again, that there's no one there, the dog barks in disagreement, continuing to appear in high alert. What does Ruthie see? Is it an evil spirit, or is it friendly? My bet is on evil as she certainly seems to be perturbed by its presence. This video was taken near the Pearl Tower in Shanghai, China. The forecast is clearly cloudy and thunder can be heard in the distance. It appears people began recording when they saw someone who appears to be levitating or hanging off the tower. Suddenly, there's a surge of lightning, and it appears this person acts as a lightning rod because he's shocked numerous times by the lightning. But the man is fine and stays suspended in midair. I couldn't find any additional information on the incident, so it appears we'll never know what happened to this individual beyond the recording of this video. 
if this video is real. Everyone knows the woods are a witch's favorite haunt. YouTuber the Ghost Hunter captured this witch on camera at around 11 p.m. First, they hear a terrible scream. <laughs> They continue to hear these strange noises, and as they carry around a ring of fire, they hear more. The strange sounds continue. आप खत्म होने वाली है हमारी तो इसके लिए हमें और थोड़ा फास्ट जाना पड़ेगा चल चल But they don't see anything फिर तो उसे इधर उधर हमारा लाइट ही रुक जा रहा है it is definitely not an animal. But remains out of sight. Well, I'm not sure that's a witch. As the channel suggests, I do think they have something paranormal on their hands. A demon? A skinwalker? Who knows? All I know is I wouldn't want to hear this in the middle of the woods at night. A YouTuber named CTV911 is on his way to see the new Star Wars movie. When the crowded mall elevator abruptly stops, leaving him stuck with other worried passengers. I can't exactly tell for sure, but I think one of them might be trying to force the doors open here, maybe to get more air into the elevator. Watch this part and let me know what you think they are trying to tell him not to do. Hey, anybody up there? It's getting unbearably hot in here. Have tried the phone again to let them know someone's going down? I could only imagine what would have happened if he had managed to actually get the doors open. After about nine minutes, one of the passengers breaks down and has a full-blown panic attack. You don't have a medicine at all? It isn't until 40 minutes later that help finally arrives. Firefighters can't get the doors open, so they have to bust in through the top of the elevator. Their welcome entrance nonetheless sends shrapnel down on the waiting crowd. Watch your eyes, guys. There's Watch screws eyes. everywhere, too. I'm still falling earlier. Can I have it? Yeah, yeah, you can have it. We hey, don't hey, want hey. it. Hey, 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 we're trying to help. They somehow squeeze a ladder into the elevator and send everyone up one by one. The YouTuber misses his movie but is glad he no longer has to spend another moment stuck in that cramped space. A UFO appears to burn in midair as it stalls directly over Area 51, in front of plenty of witnesses. I think this video is probably CGI, because the smoke almost looks like it could be a looping animation. But if anything like this were to ever happen on Earth, Area 51 is where it would most likely take place, so I'm not entirely discounting the legitimacy of this video. While unknown sewer creatures are certainly scary, here's one real-life known creature you certainly wouldn't want to run into while peering into the sewage drain behind your home. Lou Cam published this skin-crawlingly creepy video in December of 2016. He seems to be lying right on the road in front of his home, where he tells his audience that he thinks he has an alligator in his sewer. It's pretty clear that he's telling the truth. As soon as the camera is angled into the darkness, sure enough a shot into the depths below spies a pair of alligator eyes and the undeniable view of the scaly monster just lurking there. A bright green toy ball inches in front of its chompers. This is no laughing matter. Although I doubt you were laughing at the sight of that frightening creature in the first place. To put this in perspective, an average adult American alligator is 13 feet long and 790 pounds. 
Well, they are generally timid around humans, they will attack and have been known to take people's lives. Just recently, a Florida woman disappeared while out walking her dogs and her arm was found in the stomach of a massive 12 foot alligator who called a nearby swamp home. Alligators attack large prey by clamping down on it and dragging it into the water to drown it. Doesn't sound like a pleasant way to pass away. I'd advise Lou to get off the road and away from the sewer before it's too late. The David Oman House is a supposedly haunted home in Beverly Hills that's not too far from where the Manson cult claimed the life of celebrity Sharon Tate. A team of paranormal investigators are busy taking pictures of a dark room at night with an infrared camera to detect heat signatures. Suddenly, the floorboards creak nearby as if someone is near, and this message is broadcast on their equipment. The team bravely decides to stay put instead of taking its advice. Not too long after, they develop this haunting photograph while snapping pictures in the dark. This heat signature undoubtedly looks like the outline of a human. While this photo could be doctored or simply staged, it could also be another piece of evidence that the David Oman house is anything but safe or normal. Who knows what would have happened if they had stayed there much longer. There's an area in Ithaca, New York that's hiding a pretty creepy secret found by a TikToker named Lil Pack. Go on Google Earth and enter these coordinates to find it. As you walk under a bridge, keep looking up and to your left and zoom in after every step. Eventually, you'll find the same pale-faced creature poking out from the shadows that Lil Peck found before. This alien-looking face almost has to be the work of graffiti and not a real bridge-dwelling monster. It looks like it's peeking out from the shadows at first, but I'm pretty sure this actually is a steel support column and not a darkened corridor. But still, I could be totally wrong. The only way to tell for sure would be to travel to this bridge in Ithaca and see what happens to you, if anything. While most of the scary clips from the woods could potentially be wild animals, this one's a head scratcher. Published to YouTube by Ian Black in September of 2020, this isn't the shriek of a mountain lion or some other wild cat. This is next level terrifying. The roar echoes through the calm woods as though you're at the bottom of a well. While at first it may sound puzzling, the mystery is solved when the cameraman tells his dog, we've missed the train. We missed the train, Mo. But without such context, what would you feel if you were blasted with this off-putting roar during your nature walk? I guess lesson learned, stay away from the tracks. YouTuber Moment Films was digging in his backyard when he came across a hole covered in bricks, so he and his friend continued digging, peeking in the hole halfway through. The kids see something metal, pipes, and glass bottles. They move brick out of the way. The kid thinks it used to be a dump before being covered up and built over top. One man's trash is another man's treasure, he says. The crew tries to figure out a way to get into the gap safely without hurting themselves. While digging, they find two blue glass bottles dating back to 1906 that read Milk of Magnesia. They're able to sit down in the backyard treasure scape after finding a hole with a lid leading to the underground junkyard. Here, they sift through a truckload of treasure, including loads of old glass bottles, newspapers from the 1900s, rusted metal odds and ends. When they show a shot from underground, you can see the place was built with a perfectly bricked-in ceiling. The area is pretty expansive. After cleaning all the bottles with soap and water and sorting them out, they claim them as their treasure. Kids, the moral of this story is don't spend all your time indoors. Buried treasure may be hidden right in your own backyard. Ken 1082 catches what he claims is a mysterious light that's not part of a storm. It almost has to be a storm, but a user named Combat points out a strange and creepy figure standing in the doorway when the lightning flashes. 
The lights flicker on and off in the room to reveal a person who was apparently standing there the whole time. Let me know if you see them and what you think it was. This video was posted on the Chills Narrator subreddit, so I wanted to know what you make of it. A boy records the scenic view outside of his window, as passengers often do. When he looks up to record an oncoming plane, he accidentally picks up a fast-moving disc-like object traveling in the opposite direction. Whoa. Whoa, did you Looking at it frame by frame, the small flat rectangle is abnormal and does not change shape or gain detail as it moves across the screen. It's definitely not wildlife, and it's too small to be a drone, not to mention up way too high. So what could it be, aside from the possible UFO? Others have pointed out that the trail left behind by the other plane looks odd as well. I think it looks like normal vapor trails created by engine exhaust, but I could be wrong. Does it look suspicious to you? And do you think these two events, the UFO and the other plane, could somehow be related? Reet's boy records what he thinks is a rare creature sighting, and while I think he might be right, I would like your help to confirm. Some of the dogs in his neighborhood are going crazy, so he zooms in on where they're barking and just barely makes out this figure possibly watching from afar. At 38 seconds, you get a much better look when he zooms in. Bro, do you see? It's hard to tell for sure, but I think something is definitely there, and it kind of looks like the upper half of a shadow person. Fear suddenly overcomes Reet's boy, and he runs back inside before it gets any closer. Definitely the smart choice. These guys are trying to communicate with a spirit at their clinic office, specifically Jen. To determine who they're talking to, they use flashlights. We're gonna say... Oh, I think it's cool with that. We're going to say the alphabet, and whichever one your name is, can you please turn off the flashlight on that letter, okay? When they arrive at J, H, I, J, Jen. Yeah, it's Jen, I think, or something tied okay. to Jen. It has to. But another flashlight is directed by a second spirit. Another one, right? That's a different spirit. Okay. Um, K L M N. Okay. They're trying to figure out which of the spirits wrote the note or were somehow connected to it. If you're not connected to it, turn off your flashlight. Genius. I knew it. And finally, they ask Jen. Jen, were you the one that wrote the note? No. Oh. Wait, but she's connected to it, so she didn't. Do you know write. who wrote the note? Were you here when they wrote the note? Although the Redditor doesn't explain in the comments what note he's asking the spirits about, according to him, Nathaniel once scratched him. I'm really not sure if he should be keeping the lines of communication open with an entity this aggressive. This video is simply called Path of the Banshee. A man is walking all by himself down a bleak path with rows of trees reaching out for him from both sides. He spots something in the distance and freezes. Some people claim that the scream is fake and edited in. Even so, plenty of people say that they can see a figure in white robes in the distance. Do you see anything like that when he zooms in? Also, if you can identify if that scream is from a video game or a movie or something, then please let me know. Maybe together we can prove if this video is fake or real once and for all. A large white creature has been constantly creeping around the yard of a YouTuber named Sans for a long time now and no one knows what it is. The latest sighting happens during broad daylight and his camera is able to pick up more detail than ever before. 
you can see here that the creature is not very big, roughly around the same size of a nearby dog, and judging from this dog's behavior, I'd say this is clearly a real creature and not one of his friends wearing a costume. If you need more proof that this isn't a person, watch how it scratches its head with its foot at a weird angle. No human would be able to kick that fast. I would say that this is a rabbit, but I don't really see any ears and the legs look distinctly human when it walks. Tell me what animal you think this is. Until I get a better explanation, I will continue thinking that this is probably a humanoid of some kind. When your home is occupied by shadow figures, it's probably time to move out. Redditor Bianca5150 set up a security camera to try and catch which one of her dogs was doing damage in her home. She received a notification, alerting her to movement, and when she checked the footage, she found this. Did you see the shadow figure? Most in the comments think she should get out now, and I tend to agree. If we're to believe that no one was really home, this is one of the best pieces of shadow figure footage that I've ever seen. Have you ever received a call from the beyond? TikToker Epic Paranormal posted this video, explaining that their mom received a phone call from her uncle. The only problem is, he's passed away. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that entire clip gave me chills. Many in the comments have similar stories, having received calls from their departed loved ones. Others have a feeling of dread after watching this clip. I can't blame them. <laughs> If I got a voicemail like this, I would be terrified. Is there something in the attic? Redditor Air Icer suspects so. After hearing tapping on the attic wall, they meet it with Sage. And this is what they captured. What was that sound? I tend to agree with Titus that this sounds like a metallic spring bang, but that doesn't necessarily negate a paranormal presence. Perhaps the spirit's just jumping up and down on the bed. The Jordanian ghost hunter, known only as Mr. Harith, is back at it again with more scary stuff caught on livestream video, this time while exploring an abandoned house once inhabited by an alleged witch. This could be one of his friends, but each time he looks in the room, the witch was just in. The figure has disappeared. Things get really weird when this ghost caught on live stream mysteriously disappears as well.
This might have been caused by a live stream delay, except it doesn't drop frames and the resolution stays the same. The ghost witch is simply there one second and gone the next. Maintenance technician is servicing the famous Tower of Terror ride. One day, all alone. According to the surveillance video, however, he may not have been so alone after all. A phantom-like figure briefly appears in the seat directly behind the mechanic, but he doesn't notice and keeps going down a safety checklist of some sort. Then, about a minute later, look what happens about four chairs to the left of where he's sitting. Some people are saying that this is a camera malfunction, but others believe a spirit was trying to get his attention twice and failed. I did some research and found that the Tower of Terror ride has apparently caused a small number of reported heart and brain problems over the years since 2005. Let me know if you think one of these unfortunate passengers is now haunting the ride. Parents may especially have trouble watching this dashcam video from Toronto. This father with a baby stroller is about to have the scariest encounter a father could ever experience. He's getting his kid out from some snow when a thoughtless driver goes through a red light and almost takes them both out. The car has some flashing lights on the back, so it could have been an emergency and might explain why they were going so fast. Still, had he been pushing the baby stroller in front of him, this would have been a much different video. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. A YouTube channel called Dark Haunts Videos travels to the famous haunted train tracks in San Antonio, Texas, where a school bus full of children were said to have lost their lives. The road looks like it's on a small hill here, according to him. Do you agree? But it looks like it's uphill. Cars in neutral and off. We are slowly moving. If the local legend is true, ghost children are pushing them up a road and straight past the very same tracks that they themselves were not able to cross over alive. Somebody needs to measure this road to see if they are really being pushed uphill. If they are, then this is amazing. It is really creepy though how the car stops all by itself within seconds of going over the tracks. During a mid-morning flight from Canada over the Appalachian Mountains in October of 2010, this passenger captured something mysterious from the air. Watch carefully. Can you see the reflections of light in the clouds? There also appears to be a disc-like shape that emerges from the clouds at the lower half of the screen. Watch again closely. Is this a genuine, unidentified flying object caught on camera? If not, what do you think this could possibly be? What if we are living in a simulation? Cross-posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the cross-poster suggests that this is visual proof that the universe is updating now. The video footage shows a spinning wheel of light in the sky, the type you see on your computer screen when the system is buffering. The wheel is seen at a distance and then close up. The short clip offers no explanation, leaving Redditors to reach the most extreme conclusions. Maybe they're just looking to get some of that McDonald's. This mother is relaxing on the patio when a loud boom startles her pretty badly. No, I said loud. The boom is so large it rocks the camera and briefly lights up the room despite it being in the middle of the day. I really hope Chris knew what he was doing because that sounded like it was way too close to the house. A person is filming a strange aircraft outside of their home as it performs mysterious maneuvers that they've never seen before. Steady speed, drop down, now he's dropping.
There's not a single cloud in the sky, yet the airplane appears to be blinking in and out of existence. It completely disappears after a while and never returns. What strikes me as odd is the sheer number of comments from YouTubers who claim that they were searching for the exact same thing after they had seen it flying around their home. Everything from UFOs to new cloaking technology has been suggested. I'll leave you with a different video of the same type of plane, this time taken years later. There are tons of these kinds of videos floating around, and they seem fairly legitimate. Let me know what you think. Sometimes you can just sense evil in places, sometimes in your very own home. Posted in the very spooky video subreddit by Big Daddy Marco, the redditor writes that he is quarantined in a haunted house. Originally published to YouTube by Donnie Drunkard, he writes, since being in quarantine, the paranormal and haunted activity has manifested in poltergeist activity on an almost daily basis. I believe the entity is demonic in nature. Terry explains that this is an update and recap of footage caught on his live stream. He also says that he thinks there's more than one spirit in his home. Using a paranormal tool that captures movement, the recap shows that something is indeed present in the hallway, and its presence is made known on more than one occasion. The kinetic image appears. In the last clip, he tells the thing to leave, and after a moment it does as he commands. Trespass against us. I'm shaking so bad right now, man. It disappears from the monitor. Some in the comments suggest that Terry get a demonologist into his home to take this thing on. What would you do if you sensed, heard, and saw a demonic spirit in your home? Would you stay or would you go? Posted by FootageFinder57 to the found footage subreddit, you'll probably rethink your next camping trip after watching this piece of found footage. A group of people are hanging out around a campfire watching videos on a big screen and chatting. One of them notes that their friend Alexis went to the bathroom and has been gone for a very long time. They decide to investigate. As they're walking through the forest, a scream pierces the night. They start running towards it, shouting out her name. In the middle of the forest, they come across a strange teepee made of logs. When they peer inside, there's a person tied to a tree stump. And then... Whatever four-armed or legged creature has captured Alexis comes after them too. The group screams. The camera is dropped and no more is heard. <laughs> Redditor Tribal Transfusion 311 pulled a still shot of the creature. This is what we're dealing with. Although the origins of the video are unknown, this found footage is certainly one of the best quality if faked, and one of the most terrifying if not. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the Redditor writes that this is the most terrified he's ever been. The scary footage shows an attic of an abandoned house under night vision. At the beginning of the clip, Connor hears a strange noise. He looks around a little and, from upstairs, captures something in the window on the ground floor. It's glowing. He decides to go investigate. Down at the window in question, there's absolutely nothing there. Nobody, no light. Next, he uses a spirit box to speak with whomever is in the home. Someone asks him to help and let him out. Another voice says to please leave. Admitting this gave him chills, Connor says this is probably probably the last time he'll return here. As he's walking into an adjacent room, a board is flung at him. He stops in his tracks and turns around to look around him. Nothing is there. In the comments, Connor explains, it was a rock or a brick that barely missed. It flew past the right side of my head. That's why I'm never going back there because I feel like I could have passed away. No kidding, there's something evil in this house and it wants you to leave. You'd best listen. A woman is approached by a stranger in a store and they talk for a few moments. She thinks it's kind of strange, so she watches where he goes, only to find the man is now standing by her bike. I, uh, I don't know, and then he just walked over to my bike.
They talk about the bike for a while, but the conversation is really awkward. I don't know what he says here, so tell me what you hear him say in response to this question. Are you riding, are you riding it today? Not right now. No, not no, me. my wife. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not sure if I heard him right, but I think he says that he just came from the dentist and is feeling fuzzy, so I guess this means they numbed him and maybe gave him something strong, which could explain the general weirdness to begin with. You can tell she's trying to steer the conversation to a close, but he doesn't seem to take the hint and it's about to get even weirder. All right, I was just, uh, I, you had asked me, you know, what I was riding, so I came out just to... Uh, I saw you walk in with a helmet and a jacket. Yeah. yeah right. He doesn't give her a chance to say no before he's on the bike to see how it feels. Perfectly. Yep. You know uh, no, just don't drop it, please, all right? Maybe this is a biker thing that I don't understand, but this seems about as creepy as if somebody wanted to get inside of my car to see how the interior feels. Let me know if you ride a bike how you would feel about this stranger encounter. Eventually, she has to excuse herself, but it's weird how he's still looking intently at her bike. All right, all right, so nice meeting you, nice talking with you. She eventually walks away, and even though he walks with her, tell me if you think he was making friendly conversation or up to something because I don't know what was on his mind. An infrared camera was directed toward a stairway in a haunted home. This is what it captured, published by Electrica Man in October of 2006. The cameraman casts the shot toward the top of the stairs, appealing to the ghost to talk to them while the spirit doesn't make a peek. You can see a child-sized apparition move out of view at the top of the stairs. Okay, everybody. Hold still for a second. You have to look closely as the semi-transparent figure vanishes quietly from the landing into the adjacent hallway. Is this ghost camera shy? Chris Halton of Haunted Earth TV shares in the comments, As an investigator, I have noticed a connection between IR light and spirits. They do react against the infrared light. He adds that this footage is the most compelling he's seen. What do you think? It seems to me that some very mysterious stuff is going on in this home. A YouTuber named Matthew Van Hues is enjoying nature when he hears a loud voice of someone who apparently isn't. Listen to this part and tell me if you can literally hear the word help being said because I think I can. The sound quiets down and then switches over to something far less human. Skeptics think that this is some kind of wild animal, but I think I can hear English being spoken here, but I can't tell what. Maybe the words don't take me. Let me know what you hear. When he gets to the bottom off the cliff, nothing is there. Matthew waits for an hour and doesn't hear anything else, so he leaves whatever it was to take their final breaths. A YouTube channel called Paranormal Voyages has one of the best videos of otherworldly evidence I've seen in a long time. This haunting video is taken at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada, a place where you can spend the night with over 2,000 creepy clown dolls inside while they are busy addressing any spirits nearby. One of the life-size clown mannequins reaches out for a ghost hunter and possibly makes contact with them. Watch its arm move on its own. Are you a text she looks back genuinely surprised, only to see the clown doll smiling innocently at her, as if it's never moved by itself. I guess somebody could have been hiding behind the creepy doll to make its arm move, but if not, then this would have to be one of the scariest moments I've ever seen caught on tape. For the love of all that is holy, look out behind you. Posted to TikTok by Haunting Facts, this TikToker is dancing in a parking garage and doesn't seem to realize that something is watching. And not only watching, it's coming closer. Watch closely as the TikToker performs her choreography. After moving 
moving to the right, a figure is seen creeping up behind her. He is so close that he could reach out and touch her. The figure looks like a man with his back facing the girl. Unaware, she jumps to the left, and the figure is again blocked from view. This man went unseen earlier in the clip. You don't see him approach, even though the girl starts dancing further back from the camera. Where did this guy come from? Did he just materialize out of thin air? And what does he want? Some TikTokers say he's obviously Batman, while others are having trouble seeing the figure at all. But Sydney's having no trouble. She writes, Bro, I saw it and it actually gave me a little heart attack. Sounds like Sydney might need a break from the scary videos. It's 1.30 at night and David Oman is working late from his home office. He feels like he is no longer alone so he glances at his CCTV system just in time to see a shadow briefly pass by. David quickly archives this strange occurrence and uploads it to YouTube. The shadow itself looks transparent and moves way too fast to be a normal person. This video almost looks like it was sped up to create this ghostly effect. But if this really is the normal speed, then I have no idea what else this could be besides a paranormal intrusion. There's more to this selfie than what meets the eye. Posted to TikTok, Dita and her friends pose for pictures, but someone else sneaks into the last shot. In the background, a girl is seen peering through a crack in the door. In other frames, she is not there, but then again she appears peeking around the corner. Is this just someone who wants to be included? Or is this a ghost phantom photobombing? This YouTube video posted by a user named Relly Kane doesn't have a source, but he claims it happened somewhere in Vermont. The creature looks a lot like the rake, except there appears to be two long and possibly razor sharp arms jutting ahead to support its weight as it moves. The legs look very small and unnatural at 14 seconds in, and at 42 seconds, you can see its arms are way too long to be a human. However, at the 55 second mark, it looks like it could possibly be someone in a costume, leaning on two walking sticks. So what do you make of this? An urbex YouTuber called RNK All Day is exploring a creepy building that used to be a funeral home before it was abandoned. The funeral home is not haunted per se, at least not from what I can tell, but what they find is every bit as scary as any ghost video you'll ever watch. You see, a long time ago this North Carolina establishment was shut down because of improper business operations. People were not notified about their loved ones in a timely fashion, and the remains were often not stored properly at all. As RNK All Day explores the abandoned building, he finds evidence of their misdeeds laying out in the open. Sitting in a battered cupboard box on an old altar is a discarded plastic bag full of what appears to be ashes. There's no way to tell if these are the ashes of someone until you look at the box that definitely says cremation services. If this is what we think it is, which I think it almost definitely is, then they should be properly placed in an urn, not out in the open like this. And if there are more items like this lying around, then maybe this building is haunted after all. A YouTuber named Spectral Wolfpack Paranormal is checking out an abandoned house in Tennessee that's covered in occult graffiti. It's an unsettling sight for sure, but there's an audio portion of this video that has people talking. No less than five people thought they heard something during this part. Let me know if you hear it. The entrance to hell. As soon as he says that this is the entrance to the underworld, some people claim they hear a voice that says stay. I think it sounds like leaves rustling under his shoe as he takes a step back, but let me know if you heard the noise and what you think it was. The entrance to hell. The entrance to hell. A ghost hunter named Jay goes exploring an infamously haunted place known as the Yellow House. The paranormal activity begins minutes into the investigation. Anyone that's residing in this house, I come in peace. You don't have to be scared of me. Hmm. 
Let me get the EMF meter up just so I know kind of what's going on around here. Oh. How you doing? Do you remember me from the other night? We're off to a good start. Well, I will keep an eye on this as we walk around. Keep stepping on crap though. Man, I can feel people just walking around behind me. This is so, so much more active than it was the other night. I swear I keep hearing somebody moving around. It's freaking me out. There was nobody in here when I walked around earlier. Now I have been here for a little bit. He crosses back through the kitchen. Watch the sound levels. Okay. So maybe we disproved that one. I still hear somebody else. Angry. Angry? Are you trying to make me angry? No. Notice how the ghost says the word angry just outside of a room with a bunch of holes punched in the wall. Something is in here. I swear I'm being followed. I swear something is walking around behind me, messing with me, and then going around and Part of Jay wants to leave, but this is the best paranormal evidence he's ever gotten, so he swallows his fear and sets up one last experiment using his final piece of equipment. You know what? I actually want to try some... We were getting that stick figure in this hallway like I was seeing there in this closet. I want to see if... Just going off of that. Look, 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 look. Thank you for making that ball go off. He is not moving at all. It's not the floor shaking from his steps. He goes back to the kitchen where he's gotten the most activity. I know you guys had. To, I hope this picked that up. It sounded like somebody just tapped on the wall. keeps wanting me to go back there, but I'm, I'm done. And if you thought that video was creepy, look what happened the month prior when he went exploring a place known only as the Haunted Doll House. It's a lot of energy in there. I feel it. I, I heard somebody talk to me a couple times. It's crazy. He sweeps the room for activity and detects the word spirit when facing the doll. Next, they get a steady indication of EMF activity on the toy. They determine the spirit is named Josh and decide to confirm their findings with a second piece of paranormal equipment. Can you light the REM pod up again? It's the green. Can you light up the blue? Light 
Light up the blue or the purple. Oh, I bet it is. That's the name I got in that room. Really? Hi, Joshua. Is that Morse code? That's yeah. loud, oh, is that your friend, Josh? I've never seen one of these things go this crazy no, for this long. It's definitely, definitely. I, it's spirits of children. I can feel that Dead. already. Dead. They hold an EVP session, and while they don't pick up any distinct voices, a final creepy moment does happen. If you can't see a light, try to go into the light. While persuading the spirit to detach itself from the doll, an orb just so happens to go past the light and into her. This spirit is either finally being released or transferring itself to a new living host. And we are hurrying. Luckily, our house has sprinklers. When it was built, we've only been in this house for a week and a half. But we're getting everything that's important. And we're getting out of here. This scary GoPro video sounds like the final moments of a family fleeting in terror from their haunted home, but that's not what's happening. Midnight is when Tyson and Haley get a phone call that they have to evacuate fast, not from something paranormal, but a situation just as terrifying nonetheless. Flames are tearing up the mountainside and heading towards their home. Now they have to keep their oldest son occupied and unafraid while not panicking themselves trying their best to navigate around closed roads and other hazards. You can tell the father wants to scream, but he doesn't want to freak their kids out. So this is how he talks. That's not good at all, huh, buddy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want to go up there. What will happen if the fire comes to our car? We would turn around and drive away. He's definitely a good father for not scaring his children, but the reality of the situation is, at least from what I can tell, that they are low on gas and stuck in traffic without much control over where they go next. Police are frantically trying to direct traffic and stay in communication with the fire department to guide cars away from the blazing inferno, and it isn't looking too good for them. Eventually, they break away and find a moment to collect themselves at the gas pump. As they watch the inferno in the distance, adrenaline finally wearing off, it occurs to them just how close to being goners they really were. I've never had that feeling or adrenaline rush before. That was crazy. I'm really glad this wasn't the family's final moments caught on GoPro and hope they have some good memories ahead to help balance out this horrifying event. A YouTuber in Italy named Alessio Rubes is experimenting with a homemade Ouija board that apparently works far better than he thought. C'è qualcuno che vuole parlare con me? His ghost hunting app goes off at the exact moment his dog goes on full alert, and then things get scarier from there. No, no. Oh. No, Alessio leaves the room to investigate, and his dog literally screams at something in the hallway. He turns around to find the light. Two rooms over is mysteriously moving on its own. He spends a moment calming down the poor pup who is now cowering under a chair and looks very scared indeed, further lending legitimacy to this already creepy enough video. When he goes to investigate the light, he finds it still steadily moving. I don't see how you can fake that kind of reaction from a dog, so I think this ghost sighting video is real. This YouTuber is exploring a cave in an undisclosed location when he sees something that freezes him in place. He steadies the camera and slowly zooms into the darkness. Staring back at him are two white eyes that are large and spaced far apart, signifying a large creature with a well-developed brow. The timing of his reaction seems very real and not staged. Also, this is the only video on the channel and it's from 2016. 
I did think that this video was fake at first because the name of the channel is Pro Films, but then I realized it just means he was recording with a GoPro. Also, this is the only video on the channel and it's from 2016. I'm just saying that if this was a fake channel, then there would probably be more videos similar to this one. But there's nothing else. YouTuber Eder Hernandez and his crew are about to face off with some dark magic. As they're wandering in the darkness, they hear this witch's cries. When they come upon this structure, they hear her again. And then she appears. At first, they keep their distance. But even from a distance, it seems she's not having it. Hey, hey, no mames, fósil, ayúdalo, güey. Fósil, verga. Y yo traigo las cámaras, güey. Agarra aquí. Hey, espérate, loco. Edir, 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 Edir. They again see her in the darkness. Se está convirtiendo en quién sabe qué verga, güey. Vámonos. Ah, no mames, güey. After which she flees into the night. Why did she take off? I think she got what she came for. At her soul. This apartment has a rogue poltergeist on the loose, and Seeker of Ghosts has come to tame it. First, the poltergeist demands that you wash your hands. In fact, he's pretty adamant about it. He then takes another tack. And later shuts the investigator in. Board, he switches the TV on. Then this happens. Oh, After that, it's no holds barred. Later, as the investigator talks to the camera, the poltergeist becomes the director. Я пока в таких догадках, что I don't know about you, but I don't think the taming is working yet. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.